What is up guys, my name is Arcadiac, your gaming maniac, and today we are outside of the Grand Cathedral. We're going to be heading over to the archives, so fun. Uh, this area is actually not that bad. It's very small, very easy to do, the enemies aren't that tough, so this is probably be a really easy video for me to do for you guys so yeah but uh to get here if you don't know already you have to get the tonsil stone from the forbidden woods not get chopped to fuck by that guy make it safely in here they'll stop chasing you once you get in here got some lead elixir why did i just use an antidote i meant to heal I've been playing a little bit of Dark Souls, so I'm using frickin' square as my healing button, not triangle. But yeah, you gotta have the tonsil stone if you don't know already to get past this big Cthulhu fucker. And typically in your first new game like playthrough, he won't be visible, so you won't even see him. So you're just gonna let him pick you up. And he pretty much mashes you the fuck. Because that's not creepy or anything. Okay. <laughs> Once this loading screen goes away, um, we'll take care of the area, obviously. But, yeah, this area is not too bad, guys. I actually like this area. It's a great farming area, too. Because in regular new game, you can typically fish out about, I would say, 11, maybe to 12,000 souls. Or blood echoes, not souls. There, I, I keep saying souls because I've been playing Dark Souls. Like, I just recently got back into it because um, they announced Dark Souls 3, and I just want to get my souls um, practice in before I got to tackle that beast. And once that comes out, I'll probably do this on my channel once I get more of my equipment set up and stuff. But, you know, that's in the future. Right now, let's just focus on Bloodborne. So we're going to talk to Patches. <laughs> Hey, 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 fuck you. <laughs> Are you, you feet feet as fat as, as your wits? Yeah, because that sounds like a good idea. And before I forget, I didn't change my armor from the last video, so let's do that. This fucking attire is atrocious. Okay, put my madman garb, got my whatever the fuck it's called, black hooded iron helm, and where the fuck you at? Tomb Prospector. And where's the other tomb prospector? Where are you at? I really need to clear my damn inventory. I have so much of the same shit. Alright, there we go. That's much better. Now we got our gear back on. Um, we'll take care of this area now. And I f keep forgetting that damn door is locked. I always want to do that area for some reason. Yeah, but there's nothing in here at all except some breakable shit. Okay, lecture theater key. These guys are actually not that tough, surprisingly. They do have pretty good staggering damage, but as far as physical damage, not really. But there is one room where there's like fucking 20 of them at once, and you really gotta watch out, because they can gang up on you pretty easy if you're not careful. But I'm sure you guys already been here before, and you know that. Okay, so now we got that door opened up. Now, this leads to Nightmare Frontier, if you didn't know, but I don't want to do that just yet because that place is kind of tough, like, when you first start out, and I'll probably take care of it later, if I want to take care of it at all. Okay, Madman's Knowledge. More Knowledge. I have so many madmen's knowledges, I don't even know what to do with it. Go in here. I think there should be an um umbilical cord in here, maybe. Or something. 
Red jelly. No, nope, red jelly. And that's for like chalice dungeons, but to be honest, I I'm not gonna do any chalice dungeons in my new game plus playthrough because I think chal like chalice dungeons are just like a big waste of time. Personally, you really don't get anything for them. There's one armor set you can get from the chalice dungeon, as far as I know, or two armor sets. I apologize. The bone, like the whatever the hell it's called, the it's on the tip of my tongue, but I forget what it's called. But it's basically like. Um, a bone armor set or something like that. It's got like a witch's hat and a mask. I'm just not recalling the name like right now at the moment. And there's also the set that I'm wearing on right now, the Mad Men garb. But to get that you really have to go through some chalice dungeons to do that and I definitely had to <laughs> do some work to get my armor right like the one I'm wearing right now. Yeah, this is the room, though, with all these, like, whatever the fuck these things are called, but, yeah, they can gang up on you pretty easy if you let them. Now, if you're a strength weapon user, and you have, like, a really, really, um, wide-sweeping weapon, then this area is pretty easy for you. Like, if you're using Ludwig's Holy Blade and shit like that, um, these guys are pretty easy to take out since you have that really high arc. But since I'm a skill build with my dual blades and these don't have much reach, it's kind of harder for me to do this. Hence why I'm running away all the time. <laughs> Not to mention New Game Plus, these guys are doing a lot more damage. But I ain't one to back down from a fight, so we're just going to take our time until we get rid of these idiots. And plus the hot water they shoot out, or slime, or whatever the hell that shit is. Um, it burns pretty easy on you, <laughs> as you can see. And plus it covers a wide area, so... Okay. Well, they're almost dead anyway, so this shouldn't take too much longer. Damn, I had to use like 10 vials just on these guys. You the last one? Yep. And these guys, they only drop Quicksilver bullets and sed if you're lucky, they'll drop a sedative, but you know, sedatives, you only really need them. Oh, yep, sedative. But yeah, you only really need them in maybe like two, maybe three parts of the game with the mother brain creatures that cause frenzy. And the, um, whatever those things are by the Bergenworth College. I'm not really good with monster names, as you can tell. I never know what the hell shit's called, so I just kind of give my own names for them, or I just say whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> Augur of Ebrietus. Uh, we can't use that. As far as I know, let me check. Stats. Yeah, no, my arcane's too low to use the auger. The auger is not really that great. It's just that tentacle hand that you can see that like knocks people back, like that you see other hunters doing. But it's not as good as what the hunters and like NPCs can do. Like theirs does like a shit ton of damage. Our auger of Ebriatus pretty much just knocks you back, which kind of sucks. But it does come, like, helpful for PvP and all. Sometimes. I mean, it's pretty easy to dodge if you know what you're doing. Alright, I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Did all the theaters. Came out here. And... Yeah, that pretty much takes care of it, I believe. Unless I'm forgetting something. This area is actually not that big at all. Let me see if I missed any doors. Nope. Nope. Alright guys, that pretty much takes care of it for um, the archives or library or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, next video, I'm probably going to head over to Bergenworth College and try my hand at ROM, but I have a big feeling ROM's going to be like a big pain in the ass for me to deal with because ROM is just, god, that was the one boss that I had so much trouble with in New Game. 
just regular New Game, and he just kicked my ass over and over. So hopefully in New Game Plus, it's not going to be the same result, but we'll see. Um, I'm probably just going to upload the fight of me winning if I actually do manage to win. I'm not going to make you guys watch me die over and over and over and over. Although, that would be fun to watch, I will admit, but, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to do the archives with you guys, and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Next video, we're definitely probably going to have to head over to Bergenworth, and yeah, I can't wait to see you guys next time, alright?